Hey guys, it's Sam Muline with Bratton Sports Performance. So today I'm going to be taking you through our hurdle hop progression series. Now when we start our athletes off with our hurdles, we'll set them apart about a foot, a foot and a half, and we'll typically start them between 6 and 12 inches. Now the first part of our hurdle hop series, we're going to go a hurdle hop into a pause. So we want to make sure that the athlete is able to jump over that hurdle by keeping the knees over the ankles, making sure that they can hold that landing. So it's going to look just like this. So I'm going to start up nice and tall, I'm going to load into it, up over that hurdle, and stick that land. The next part of our hurdle hop series is going to be a jump into a hop. So we're focusing on being able to be quick off that ground and then up over that next hurdle. So again, we're maintaining that posture throughout the hurdles, keeping the knees over the ankles, making sure that athlete can hold that posture going through those hurdles. So it's going to look just like this. So I'm starting up nice and tall, over, hop, up over again. So once we feel comfortable with that athlete being able to go through that progression, we can either bump them up a few inches and then eventually progress into the last piece of our hurdle hop progression, which is going to be a continuous hop all the way through the hurdles. So there's no pause in between each hurdle jumping over it. As soon as they land, they're up over that next one. So again, they're able to be quick off that ground, letting that heel cave. And once they finish that landing, they're up over that next one, just like this. So once you're comfortable with your athlete going through all these progressions and they eventually get to the continuous one, feel free to bump them up a few inches if you see that clearance. And then nothing changes with that posture, they're being able to be quick off that ground. If you guys have any questions, always feel free to reach out.